In this video, we're going to look at differentiating parametric equations. So that's whenever you've got x and y in terms of some parameter t. Now, to do that, you're going to have to know the chain rule. So the chain rule is dy by dx equals dy by dt times dt by dx. Now, it's really useful uh, in this case because you're going to have y equals and x equals. It'd be much more useful if this was dx by dt. So what we're going to do is we're going to do dy by dx equals dy by dt. Now, if you want to take the reciprocal, remember we have to change this to divide. So divide by dx by dt. So what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate y with respect to t, differentiate x with respect to t, and divide, and then you'll get dy by dx. Okay, so if we had y equals t squared minus 4t and x equals 8t, we can find dy by dx. So first of all, you want to find dy by dt and also dx by dt. So, dy by dt, let's differentiate dy with or y with respect to t, so you'd get 2t minus 4. And let's differentiate x with respect to t, so you're going to get 8. So then you want to use the formula dy by dx equals dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So you're going to get dy by dt, which is 2t minus 4, divided by over 8. And let's just cancel that down. So you're going to get uh, t minus, minus 2 over 4. So halving all the coefficients, all the numbers. Okay, so we had uh, y equals 2 cos t and x equals 4 sine t. And you wanted to find dy by dx. Okay, you're going to again do dy by dt divided by dx by dt. And then, so let's find dy by dx, or dy by dt, uh, dy by dt, and dx by dt. So, dy by dt, differentiating uh, 2 cos t, so that would be differential of cos is minus sine, so you're going to get minus 2 sine t. The differential of x, the differential of sine is cos, so you're going to get 4 cos t. So, dy by dx... equals dy by dt, so it's going to be minus 2 sine t over dx by dt, which is 4 cos t. So that would equal uh, sine divided by cos is tan t, and minus 2 divided by 4 is going to be minus a half. So your answer is minus a half tan t. Okay, in this question, uh, you've been asked to find the equation of the tangent at t equals 3. And they've given you your x equals and y equals, your parametric equations. So, uh, firstly, you want to find the gradient of the tangent. So to find the gradient of the tangent, you want to find dy by dx. And as we know, that's dy by dt uh, divided by dx by dt. So dy by dt would equal differentiating y would give you uh, 3t squared. And dx by dt would equal differentiating x would give you 2t. So dy by dx would equal uh, dy by dt, so that's 3t squared divided by uh, 2t. So that's going to give you uh, 3 over 2t. Okay, so we've been asked to find the equation of the tangent, so we've differentiated it, uh, the parametrics, and we have got the dy by dx equals uh, 3 halves t. So if we want to find the gradient of the tangent, we're going to have to put in the t value. So if we put this t value here into here, you're going to get the gradient of the tangent. So when t equals 3, dy by dx would equal 3 halves times t, which is 3. So it's going to give you uh, 9 over 2. So, uh, so we've got the gradient of the tangent then would be dy by dx uh, is equal to 9 over 2. So we know we've got y equals 9 over 2x plus c because we know the gradient of the tangent. Now we need to find the plus c, so we need to put in the x values. Now to put, get the x values, you're going to have to put the t equals 3 back into these equations to get your x and your y. So when t equals 3, Let's just work it out like this. When uh, t equals 3, x equals uh, t squared, which is going to be 3 squared plus 1 equals 10. 
and y equals t cubed, so it's going to be 3 cubed, which equals 27. So we've got our x and our y, okay? So we're going to put these back into the y equals mx plus c. So y was 27 equals 9 over 2 times x, which is 10, plus c. So let's work out what this would be. This is going to be 27 equals uh, 90 over 2, which equals 45, plus c. So c equals uh, 27, take away, this is 45, and 27 take away 45 is going to be minus 18. So you've got the equation at the tangent. The equation at the tangent is going to be, uh, let's just get rid of our plus c, and we'll put in our minus 18. So the equation of the tangent is y equals 9 over 2x minus 18.